You think you know about relationships, but you're wrong. Listen, there's no magic bullet. I'm teaching life skills. When you sick, you need medicine. It don't always taste good. Nah. But it'll get you better. You, you, you need this medicine. Yeah. It ain't gonna always taste good. But this is what you need. Men and women, bottom line, we need to have the conversation. Your partner wants to give up control, but only if you know how to drive. This is about being the best you you could ever be, whoever you are. I don't care if you're a man, a woman, LGBTQ, space alien. I'll save anybody. I don't care. I'll teach a hedgehog how to have a threesome. What do you mean by that? Look, you don't have to listen to me, but you're wrong. Listen, I know I'm great. And I know you're thinking, Dante, there's no way I could be like you. But you could be me, you know why? Because you know who I was? Before I was me, I was you. you. Man score, 202. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't. GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolution is being podcasted, and I am excited. Uh, nice, finally. You know, what's up? How are you ready to rock and roll? You know I am. Absolutely. Why would you even ask me that? I'm doing great, Dante. How can you ask me a question like that? I got, I, you know, there's a dude I counsel, right? And yeah. He calls and checks up on me every once in a while, and he goes, um, I go, yo, how you doing? He goes, yo, don't, don't, don't disrespect me like that. Yeah. You know I'm fucking fantastic. There we That's go. That's what his response is. That's this what we is, like to hear. This is a special show. Um, I'm just running around lifting weights or something, whatever. That's, anytime we can't get a hold of him, that's what we assume he's doing. He's lifting something somewhere. Um, but we got a good friend, friend of the show. I love her to death. Funny, funny chick. Um, give it up for Tracy Carnazzo, yo. Give it up for her. Yay. Oh my god, the crowd is going wild. Thank you they so are. much. Woo, 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 woo. Tracy, <sighs> what 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 of this list the hunt one of the many podcasts you're on so people can follow them up front because you do Don't a lot listen of to anything. I, listen, just listen to this podcast. My podcasts are garbage. Oh uh, my god. I'll goodness. tell you what they are though. 90 Day Fiance Trash Talk. If you guys watch 90 Day Fiance, Teen Mom Trash Talk. Hopefully none of you watch Teen Mom. And then I have another podcast called Only New York, which is just really fun stories about New York City. And, you know, we have a blast, so you can check that out. But mostly, don't worry about my podcast. Just follow me on social media at Trixie Tuzini. That's the only thing you need to do because uh, the content that I'm putting out is pretty wild. Yeah. There you go. There you go. The always funny Tracy. We tried Canado. to do the watch through the 90 Day Fiance. It's I'm hard. still it editing that. That shit was brutal. It's, listen, it's like 10 seasons in. You know, you guys can't just jump in the pool in the middle. We did. We jumped in the pool in the middle. Yeah. Was um some Dominican chick uh who want, who the, the guy told her he was gonna be rich. Annie um, and Robert. Okay, and uh and uh 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 guy My favorite. from Kazakhstan and another uh, Kazakhstan. <laughs> Kazakhstan he keeps crying. Who's that? Oh, he was Turkish. He wasn't from Kazakhstan. It was, Tur he was Tur Turkish because I, I recognize dude. that accent. Oh, oh Marcel no. and Anna. Yeah, the beekeepers. Yeah. See, oh, they oh, good. And yeah, they're then, both beekeepers. Uh, they met in a beekeeping Facebook group. And what was the other one? What's the other one? My on favorite that? was the Nigerian, the guy from the Nigeria. Nigerian and, dude. That, <laughs> and that awful Michael and woman Angela from uh, where is she from? Angela? Atlanta. Yeah, I think Michael, so. Michael and Angela. Yeah. Very, goes, very uh there they got married recently. They are really? still oh together. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my and god. And she tells him that she's gonna have a baby. She's fifty four years old. She's like, Don't worry, we're gonna figure it out. I'm gonna I've, have a baby. I've never been to Nigeria. The I always thought it was I, I always seven. thought I always thought that Lagos was very nice, but apparently Her it must be a hellhole eggs. for him to get the hell out of there. For him willing to jump on that ship. God damn yeah, she was hideous. Yeah. It's like you look at these women though, and you look at the guy and you're like, All right, he's like a right average looking guy like you can get anyone else you have to get a 54 year old racist crazy woman it's disgusting looking from georgia like any like anyone else couldn't you get a thin racist you could find a thin racist they're out there <laughs> i mean but not maybe not 54 when you're 30 like i don't you know what i'm saying like he could have found something more to his liking and yet he was like no if i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do this real ridiculous <laughs> 
Do you, did you, Harry, what was that, that thing I sent you? You know, there's a whole, you know how like guys go to Dominican Republic and go to Brazil mm -hmm. to fuck? Yeah, there's a thing called Nambia. I think, is it Nambia or? I don't Nambla? remember what it was. No, no not no. Nambia. Not the it's National an Man Boy Love Association. An African country where all the milfy white women go and go fuck uh, uh, African dudes. Oh, like a field trip. Yeah, like a dick trip. That's kind of fun. <laughs> But it's That's a place the next movie. And, and the guy is talking about it on on the on the show. He's talking about he's like, we think it, this is very bad. They are bringing sexually transmitted disease. And then even their fucking kids, like some of the women are fucking young, young kids and shit. And then there's, wow. he's, there's tourism. Disgusting. Nambia is tourism and dick. That's all they got. No coal, That's, no copper. That's a wild risk. That is a wild risk. You know, we have um, I'm not saying that Nigeria doesn't have great dick. I mean, I'm sure it does. But I mean, we do have domestic dick here. I mean, maybe not. They want, in the great, they want that. Yeah. They want that motherland dick. Yeah, no, I get well, it. You know I what mean, it I is? Get it. I just don't know. It's going to go in there where you can't. You're not judged. You could do exactly what you want. Sure. And they, right. So you go there when your family's super racist and you're like, oh, I'm going. Uh, well, no, to, uh, I mean, you could. I think I think you could just be. You I mean, don't I know, know. Where your mom's not going to find out and your dad. No, it's your mom yeah. that goes. Oh. That's who's that's who's going. It's it's like your mom so is the age divorced. bracket is even higher. Yeah, the right, mom but I feel like it's it's white women that wouldn't actually bring a black man around her friends and family. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. Or, so super or, racist or white might, women, or might bring a black guy in, but not gonna bring some little African dude. It's like going to the fucking. It's like dudes used to go like going to, to Thailand. Brazil. Yeah. Exactly like that, right. but it's Thailand for white ladies. You fuck a woman in a basket. I get it. Yeah, in a hammock. You gotta fuck mm -hmm. her in a hammock. There you go, in a hammock. I knew it was something. Sips a, sips a pina colada in an actual pineapple as the cup. Wow. Well, listen, you gotta do something to get those electrolytes back up after you've done <laughs> getting railed by a lot uh, of Karens. A lot yeah. of Karens go. So, Tracy, internationally, who have you dated? Anybody internationally that international? you international? Uh, I yeah. had a boyfriend in Finland for a little while, but I wow. knew him in real life. Um, but it was more like just it wasn't like a serious thing. It was like mm. fun to like pretend. I'm a big like when I was younger, I loved having like a pretend online boyfriend because it was just so much like the stakes were so low. It's like I never want to hang out with you ever again. It Tracy, was usually Tracy I, was catfishing with no end. <laughs> I yeah. wish I was catfishing. No, it was it was usually people I met in person. I used to work in the music mm -hmm. industry. So it was like I'd meet a guy on tour. We'd exchange numbers. And then it was like that fantasy of like, he's the perfect guy. And with like no like, you know, I'm with not no to no commitment. No, yes, no. But, but it's the fantasy of thinking so is that it, it's, is it is it is it kind of like let me ask you this is it kind of like validation it's like oh i have this yeah, thing and someone it's, yes yeah. and it's like you know you you um you're like oh someone tells me they love me every night and he sends me flowers and then like you know you would cross paths again on tour and it's like this guy's so annoying and you don't really want to be with him, but it's I love the creation. I love that when I was younger. Just, and just now I'm like, yeah, now I'm like, that might be fun again, <laughs> like with no expectations. Because It's, it's, it's I good to it. see you matured so much. After all these years. I'm Because, you know, then when I was like in my 20s, I was like, oh, I want something real. And then now I'm like, no, this and is then you great. Were like, like, this is real. Ugh. Mm. Yeah, Tra exactly. And then Trace, you're like, long, why do you long, think long that distance. is, though? I mean, you just you just found the comfort. You were afraid of commitment or you just wanted when I was to have younger? something as a backup. Like what was I think when you're like a older teenager, you know, I was like 18, 19, 20 years old. It's like, you know, you have that fantasy of like stability. Yeah. And yeah. then. You know, stability that goes away. at 18, 19 from yeah, who, because what like you, it's a fantasy. You dating like, a 50 year old dude? Yeah. No, it's like you're you're dating another guy who's like, you know, your age or, you know, I think I was like 18. And I was dating like 22 year old guys. But it was just like we were never going to commit to each other in real life. But we used to pretend like we were both lying to each other. And it was just so fulfilling. And you're that's why I understand like having a long term relationship without having to do a long term relationship. Right. And then right. and then sometimes they would be like, I'm going to fly to New York and come see you. And I'd be like, what? I can't hear you. I think we have a bad connection. <laughs> my mom's calling me. I'm grounded. Oh, my God. And then you just 
But you'd never hook up with these guys or you would hook up? No, with sometimes it's like there were guys that I hooked up with. Like, you know, I, I met him at a show or like, you know, maybe he worked for another band that we were with or whatever. And, you know, you make out a little bit, you hook up or whatever. And then, you know, the fantasy of like, oh, we were supposed to be together. Now, do you think you think that Instagram satisfies that stuff now? Like, you know how people um, live, live it for the Instagram like yeah, people are living I, life yeah. for Instagram instead of living you life. Mean when I posted a picture this morning all day long, checked how many people liked it and checked <laughs> how many people commented. You mean like that? Yeah, I, I guess. Yeah. 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 That feeling, that those, dopamine hit, getting that you, dopamine hit. Yeah. You slide in the DM, somebody slides in a DM and you're fucking flirty or whatever. And it. And I mean, everyone no that slides intention. in my DM is like, get 1000 followers right away. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, you don't get okay. any anonymous. I thought picks, Tracy. No, wow. it's really I got to tell you, it's sad because um, you look and you're like, oh, all these guys are like commenting, but like they're usually not real. I get so the new thing is um, I posted a picture. I don't know, maybe last week. And there's a guy that commented on it and he commented with a whole bunch of hashtags about being a sugar baby. Mm. And I guess it, it called it uh, it awoken all of the sugar the 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 bot the sugar daddy spam uh, bots okay from the internet so now i have millions and millions of comments which i'm keeping because you know the uh algorithm and okay. they all say the same thing and it says as i'm looking for sugar babies to spoil with gifts and money four thousand dollars weekly i need honest and trustworthy sugar baby that i'm going to get spoiled with money dm me if you're interested and they do this over and over again because they're trying to find someone to um steal their bank account they tell you like oh, okay. oh you have to send me send me fifty dollars on venmo so that i could trans you know i don't know it's like this whole scam thing uh, um and i'm like can any like real sugar daddy maybe see these tags Unfortunately, like, I don't no, know if that's the way it works. Like, you know? I want a pay pig. Like, that's what I want. I want a pay pig. Okay. Well, explain pay pig to people. Do you know about pay pigs, Dante? No. What is that? Pay pigs are guys that just send you money. Oh, that's the whole thing. And then you, what do you have to, you have to you do, do, a, you do a video. You don't even do a video you with do you nothing. wearing it. Oh, wow. You do nothing. They send you money and they're upset about it. Like that's, they get off on like you financially humiliating them. But you don't even, I've heard of like uh, I heard a, about a fin that. dom, like financial domination. Yeah, yeah. something yeah. like that where you're like, fuck you. And that you usually requires real- you to at least go, uh, your dick well, is small. I know, I know a porn star who used to like, pe- guy would like send a, send a, like send her like an 80 inch TV and then she would just put on thigh highs and stuff and go thank you for my my 80 inch tv and then that was it yeah, I'll do and that. He would, and he yeah. Would, i just want cash though i want to buy my own stuff i don't like people buying me stuff i want cash like they would she would have like an amazon a uh, wish list yeah yeah like a, a wish list and then you mm-hmm. would, the guys would just go i just want and, cash yeah so every guy that's in my DMs, they're all like spam bots right now. So they send me the story about how they want to be my sugar daddy, and I write back uh, Venmo my bio. Now what you got? You broke it. up with your dude or no? No. Oh, you just oh, wow. want to? Okay. <laughs> I just want ca- who doesn't you want cash? Want, hey Dante, who doesn't need additional income during these hard times? Just, that's all that's Tracy's true. saying. That's true. Like, I want to. Hey, I want to do. I didn't say I want to fall shit. in love. I want to. Exactly. I want to be a sugar baby. Let me be a sugar if baby. If some guy was like, Dante, I'm going to send you, you know, $300 a week. Tell me I'm a piece of shit. Would you not do it? Yeah, I would be you fucking dirtbag. He'd be like, easy. What the fuck? Right? He'd be like, I'm going to send you videos. And he's like, whoa, I didn't ask for videos. Dante would be like, see, this is why your parents never really loved you. I would, like, do hey, it in, I, I would do it in auto tune with an yeah. auto tune. <laughs> yeah, you ain't shit. Hey, it's Dante. I did like the zap band, you know, when they put the thing in around more bounce to the ounce. I would do that. Oh, do the like whole, Peter Frampton or whatever. Yeah, I'll just tell you, you ain't shit. So, Tracy, you're still with your dude. Last time, uh, last time you were on the show, which was I forget how long it's been, maybe a couple months, maybe a year at most. Why? It was a while ago. Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah. Um, it was uh, contemptuous then. 
It was not exactly it's the same. It's oh, exactly really? The same. It's still yeah. rough and brutal. Because I remember, <laughs> one, I remember the last time uh, we were together, you showed me a video of your boyfriend. I guess you have like one of those ring cams or whatever yeah. on your tour. <laughs> and Tracy showed me a video of her boyfriend coming home, and I guess Tracy was like shouting something through the door, and he just put his <laughs> double fingers to his head and like made the gun thing, <laughs> yep. and like blew his brains out, you know, figuratively <laughs> before he walked in. <laughs> yeah, that's. And yeah. I guess Why? Tracy there, found that, that video. Good? Um, <laughs> you know, I, you know, I've never done it with my uh, girl, but you know, I mean, right. maybe it's something we're trying. It's yeah. Sp- yeah. It adds spice to, if you guys need any relationship <laughs> advice. <laughs> see, the problem is I think your relationship is all spice at this point. You see, the thing about spice is <laughs> you you're supposed have, to put a little bit meat. in. Yeah. You gotta have you, some meat. Yeah. You, what you do is take the entire top off the salt and just dump it out. You're like, it's mm. crushed red pepper. Tracy's <laughs> relationship is a spoonful of cinnamon. <laughs> <laughs> it goes in my apple pie. So, Without no apples. Yeah, just you're like, cinnamon. where are the apples? Like, <laughs> shut up. fucking cinnamon. <laughs> okay. So now, how has that been with, it, within COVID and everything? How has that been going? The same. The same. Okay, but is it Tracy, any yeah. better what or what worse? What advice did I give you, Tracy? What advice um, did I give you? The non-negotiables. And then I was okay. like, yeah, that sounds like a good theory. Right. And how'd that work out? <laughs> I'm like, I wish. <laughs> uh, instead, Tracy went and make them, made him a lasagna. It was very weird. <laughs> he was like, Dante made a lot of sense. And then she just stopped by the she Whole She went Foods. back and made, <laughs> made, made well, gravy You guys need to scratch. relax because I'm actually gluten-free now. Okay. So I've been making yeah. pizza from scratch. Oh, boy. Oh yeah, yeah. And this is not going to get rid of him. See, this is the problem. Yeah, the relationship that's going to that's going to get rid of him. Right? The relationship is brutal. Uh, and now he's uh, got gluten free pizza. He doesn't even have to feel bloated. Right. <laughs> Tracy's no trying to gas keep him here in months. <laughs> Tracy's just trying to keep him healthy enough just so she could beat him. It's like training. <laughs> oh, man. No, I wish I wish. <laughs> I, I wish. <laughs> Okay, but with COVID, are you you spending more time together? I mean, a lot of relationships. Somehow, what I like about Tracy is she's into the commitment of this, despite the number of relationships that have been broken up because of COVID. She is holding on. I'm I'm in for the long haul. That's who I am as a person. Okay, but may I ask why? And I I don't know much. I don't know anything about Tracy ball and chain (laughs) gun nozzle. (laughs) It's just, I don't know. I guess it's the love of the game at this point. She's like Denzel with an afro. I'm like not <laughs> love of the game. I'm going down with this ship. <laughs> Gotta respect uh, that. Like the oh. Titanic. You don't give a shit. Okay. Sorry, I needed a snack. We've been recording for 12 hours. Um, I mean, by my watch, it's been an hour and 10 minutes, but it's understandable. It's understandable. <laughs> Who among us doesn't need a snack break? You need a snack. I'm not going to lie. Look, I've done that. Crackers. What are you gonna I've do? done that myself. Um, all right, so you're still in that. That's fascinating to me. I thought She's something would have changed. She's making s'mores over a candle right now. That's how she gets down. She don't give a fuck. Well, that's in her to-go bag. That's the weird part. I've seen Tracy's to-go bag. It's mostly ingredients. Yeah. <laughs> it's mostly spices and uh, extra virgin olive oil. I know. I, like, tried to put, I tried to put uh, regular rosemary in. She said, you don't have fresh herbs? The fuck mm-hmm. is wrong with you? Um, I have an arrow garden in my kitchen where I grow all of my herbs inside. Does it work good? Does it work good? Love it. Yeah. I absolutely love it. I'm growing uh, oregano and basil, some dill, some chives, cilantro, parsley. It's amazing. How big is it? Um, It's probably like, I don't know if you guys are listening, but yeah. uh, it's not big. Okay. Maybe like, maybe like a foot and, and, and a half. And how many, two, how, two many, how, many, how many plants can you get in there? I put nine. I have the nine whole one. Uh, it's that's, amazing. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> I have nine holes. Nine and holes. that's why it's been this long. <laughs> oh, okay. Wow. I've heard yeah, a third input, holes. but nine, nine holes. holes. You can trip and fall in one. Nine holes. <laughs> that is. Yeah, I'm actually going to be <laughs> switching careers. You wow. can roll in the bed and catch one by accident. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. OK, so this is like, where do you see this going, Tracy? Out of curiosity. And again, I'm not trying to talk you Just out of this, this but forever. I, first, of all, like Harry, first of all, Harry, when, when anybody goes, I go, what advice you give me? She goes, you know, the non-negotiables thing moving uh, right along. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I use it all the time and I think about it, you know. 
It's here with Okay, me. so where where do you use it? I'm I'm curious if Dante's I'll just are... like in my head and then I tell other people. Oh, okay. So you give advice yeah. to other people and I'm then you go really back to I'm a really good advice giver. Ah. Do, you, do you ever give me credit for the non-negotiables? Always. You're Always. The best. Here's the Always. danger of that. Better on Here, podcasts. Here's the danger of that, Dante. We appreciate you spreading the word, Tracy, but uh, you're very open about your relationship to the point where everyone knows. So, <laughs> actually, if you could stop telling I'm that like, advice from in Dante, my life uh, has been because, from Dante. He has guided yeah, me. He's that's my what life I'm coach. worried. I'm worried that you're going to hurt the brand a little bit because when you start I'm giving like, out, I'm like, I don't know that broad. I never met her. <laughs> when you life. start giving out relationship advice, I'm like Stormy Daniels. Who? Are you kidding me? <laughs> When you start getting Dante's a relationship, been coaching me for yeah. 15 years and yeah. uh, every choice that I've made, he is okayed. Right after giving out that advice, then you start showing a video of your boyfriend shooting himself in the head <laughs> outside your own door. It, Listen, it doesn't the help. Pa- the Patreon followers are as un- unsubscribing as we speak. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, did I just take advice from the same person is this the <laughs> apple pie girl i'm out i'm trying to get to the bottom of this because tracy's a sweetheart right or at least this is what i know from her but then again i've never been in a relationship how with long tracy. has it been trace um four years oh wow for you that's a big commitment that's a big commitment yeah. right there and you're Go still ahead, you signed up for more <laughs> yeah i'm here for it oh my god you're looking for a second term i don't I'm, I, I'm trying to figure out Okay, I'm trying to figure Four out I still don't years. why. Four. No. <laughs> I'm trying to get to the bottom of why. Uh, are you happy? Would you say that you're happy in all this, Tracy? No. I'm on a little butrin. Okay. <laughs> this sounds like I edited the answers like comedically, but just like, so you know, that is what he, Tracy he's said. on the board. I'm drops. on well, butrin is one yeah. of the drops on yeah. the board. These are all my drops. <laughs> yeah. Funk master flex night. Yeah. <laughs> I'm on well butyrin. Yeah. <laughs> Gambapentin. <laughs> Ooh, Gambapentin's pretty good. Tracy, how long are you going to be in this relationship? Until I kill Four myself. Until I kill myself. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm Forever. Gonna... Forever. Okay. Now, see, I, I just, I don't know that even you have the answer then because I'm just so curious as to why. But or, or Dante, why do she, you think she likes this is it. going on? She likes it. She yeah. likes it. And a lot of times whenever, and this is, you don't realize that sometimes people don't think that they're, they understand what their real worth is. And so they're punishing themselves. Mm-hmm. It's sort of like, like, I don't know. Did you, did you have a, how are your parents? Um, you know, they were just like kind of regular ish, but like not, Super supportive, not supportive of what? me or each other. Uh, both. Um, yeah, I would say pretty supportive, but I was never like someone who needed a lot of support. Right. So I was really kind of like, I'm doing you got brothers and sisters or no. I have an older brother and okay. he's we're, we're vastly, vastly different. Um, but I was kind of like, I'm doing this, you know, like I didn't need anyone to support me. I didn't need like even, you know, starting comedy or whatever i was so into, but here, here's my thing i was like you, a by myself i was a self you know you know that this is not happy this is not a happy situation this is not right. the ideal situation correct and so you know for the first six months maybe you could say he did it to me but if when you for you know like you don't, there's no victims. It's only volunteers. Oh yeah, no, I just didn't. And pool. I know you. I know you said that because we talked about it. And you were like, uh, but why? <laughs> why do that? Like, why? What is? Are you trying to punish yourself? Do you don't think you're worthy? Maybe. Do you like, do you like the spice of it, or do, or do you just do you like the fact that you're that you're the good one in this situation, and that it makes? No, you, I don't know about that one, but every other one. Everyone, everything so you feel, else. It's but yeah, like no. you're punishing you. So why are you punishing yourself? Yeah. Uh, I don't. I don't know. I mean, you like I think yourself. That it's easy. You like yourself. No, absolutely no. Absolutely why not? not? Why don't you like yourself? It's because you know what it is. It's like that has to like come from inside. I think that's like kind of um, like a personality, and that's just not my personality. And people, you know, sometimes I come off cocky, and like I'm joking. Like I'm always joking when I come off. Yeah, cocky. but. Yeah, I we know that, but hmm. what is it about you you don't like? Oh, I mean everything. I think what I I look at other people and I'm like, I wish I could be like that. Not that I'm like you know envying them, 
but it's like I wish I I feel like sometimes envying I don't the, have envying the character. Right, oh, exactly. But it's not, like I don't get mad at other people. And I, the other thing is like I really try not to be jealous uh, of other people because even especially in relationships because, and I'll tell you this, not jealous in a relationship, but I'm saying of other people's relationships because yeah. you know how girls are always like, oh my God, she got engaged and now I'm going to kill myself because I was supposed to be the next one that got but married. Tracy, you're, you're, I don't you're, know anyone in a, a happy relationship. Yeah, but you're also a smart person. Yeah, it's, you're not a dumb person, Fairly. and and no, you're a smart person, and so you know that if you continue this, there's no happiness at the end of it, and I, and so at some point in time, you have to make a decision. So if you like, what are you jealous of? I'm not jealous of, but what character mm -hmm. would you aspire to that you don't think is you have? Just like the no bullshit. Like I think that I play a mean game and I like I put on a front that I don't. So you mean set, setting boundaries for other people? Yeah. Yeah. And so because people set because you don't set these boundaries and people treat you like shit and then you feel mm -hmm. like shit. Right. Because right. people so always you say, wish... like, you know, yeah, when you meet me, like I think a lot of people are like, oh, she doesn't take any bullshit. Right. Because like I, I have a pretty strong personality. Yeah. But, you, but I think you're that I'm literally the opposite. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah you're full of shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But. <laughs> So, so um, here's okay. So here's how I think the best way to move forward is like. So one of the things that I'm a I'm a I'm a pretty kind dude in general. You know, I I'm always a dude who Correct. is if you're in if other people are in pain, I I don't want that. I always give first before. And so I realized that I you know at at in a point in my life I was really a pushover about it. Like I gave to people who didn't mm -hmm. deserve it. <laughs> Right. And so what I had to why well, I, I did two things, but ultimately what I had to do, the, 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 the real answer is to recognize and be comfortable with who you are. Like, so when you don't like yourself, what I'm you got to understand that you're but you're kind and you're generous and you're generous even when people aren't generous to you. And mm -hmm. I don't know if you understand how rare that is for people to get nothing back or be in situations with, with social situations where you know that it, it does nothing for you other than sacrifice. Doesn't that give you a good feeling inside about, about who you are as a person? You know, I, I feel like almost like I don't know why anyone wouldn't be like that. I think there's a but lot of you, things that I take for granted. Fair enough, but you know that people are not like that. Not only that, you know that people are not like that because you experience those people. Those are the people that take advantage of you. So yeah. whether or not, so again, this is you're you're not a you're not a um a, a dumb woman. So we have a, there's living examples of these other people who who are not don't throw themselves on the, on the, on the sack, you know, become the sacrificial lamb and don't do that. Don't, don't you understand what a rare, rare, uh, quality that is to, to, to yeah, be. I guess I do. But at the same time, like, I think that I am getting better in general as a person, like with setting boundaries for myself. But um, here's, you know, I, I mean, here's a thing that I think is interesting is I understand mm -hmm. you want to be able to set those boundaries, right? But the boundaries is not the point. That's not the first step. The first step is you going is recognizing that you're generous and you're kind and you're giving. And that is what makes you great in itself. Just just that. I mean, people taking advantage of you. That's their problem. That's not your sure. problem. Sure. They're I the mean, I'm, work, I'm working on the four agreements. Are you familiar with the four agreements? Yeah, I, I know the book somehow. I, I'm, you know, I'm, working, I'm working on the four agreements and, you know, just knowing that, like, how people treat you is not a reflection of you. It's more of a reflection of them. So I work. I do. I, you know, I try to think right. about that. But, you know, and then you kind of, like, come back and you're like, I don't know. Sometimes I'm the common denominator, though. See, I think I, I see. I don't necessarily fully I agree with that because I think people treat you how you allow them to treat right. you to some extent, whether it's relationships or Right, but it also, it, it shows, it shows really on them that they would take advantage of someone. Right, no right. Doubt. I, I, no that's, doubt. Yeah, that's what we were saying in the first place. And so you, 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 you're saying, I think that why wouldn't people act like that? But you have hundreds of examples of people not acting like that. In mm -hmm. fact, in fact, I would be surprised if you had any uh, situation or very, if you had any situations where people were as, sacrificing as you are.
I, I, I would bet that you'd have to really think hard of somebody yeah, doing that. And probably. so, so that in itself says that it's a rare thing. Right. If, if you have all these social interactions with people and you don't have any examples mm -hmm. of people being sacrifice, sacrificing themselves for other people right. like that. So it's a rare thing. And if it's rare, it's valuable. And, and so I think you got to start with the fact that, that you are, that the, your kindness. And I say this to dudes a lot of times, a lot of times guys will call and they'll be like, you know, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm a pushover. I, you know, I buy stuff like this and then, you know, they, what, what we would call a simp. But what you don't understand mm -hmm. is your generosity and your, your, your the, 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 the thickness of your character and your righteousness is more valuable than anything else. Sure. We got it fucked up. It's the dickheads are the ones that have the problem. It's not the people who are kind and generous. But because we, we, we operate in that ecosystem, we have to understand that we, we got to recognize people who are parasitic or people who are, who are self-absorbed and stuff and understand that what the animal that you're dealing with, you know, and that right. you, you, whether or not this person even gains access in your life is more important. But I think you sure. gotta you know you gotta first accept that the generosity and the way that you do things and the way you go out is a is a goodness that's really rare. And if it's rare, right. then it's valuable. Thank you. Uh, yeah, Tracy, I mean I guess I never yeah. really thought about it like that. Tracy, has this uh has the the pandemic or anything ever changed your perspective at all with anything that's going on in, in your life, even relationships or not? No, you know, I got to tell you, um, so I have pretty, pretty severe OCD and um, I actually feel a little bit safer now because we're inside a lot more and people are actually taking precautions now when they never used to. So I'm actually, I think, flourishing inside. And I think that that's like something that, you know, as far as like, obviously, you know, my anxiety is high, but at the same time, like I'm not being thrown out in the world every single night. And I think that that's, you know, kind of like comforting to me. Like home is what I like home. Right. I like being home. So this is like almost like a timeout. How much do you get out by the way? How much do you get? To I leave? went out last night. Um, I was on Legion of Skanks last night. So I went to the stand and it was oh, outside. Boy, for so having OCD, you go right into the Legion of Skanks. <laughs> it was outside. <laughs> So that was a good thing. Um, you know, I did, you know, a, another show. I did a show with Dante a few weeks ago. I've been doing, you know, outdoor shows here and there. I'm not really trying to be out all the time. You know, I go outside for walks and I'll go to the store. But I, I'm not I'm not socializing indoors with people. You know, I'm not having people over. I'm not going to people's houses. And, you know, it's it's very different. But it's kind of like all of the fears, like I've always, you know, now you guys might be nervous, right? To go to someone's house. I've always been nervous to go to someone's house. Right. That's I mean, but but this gives you a safe haven. But how's that mm -hmm. going to how are you going to respond to that when it, when it, when you got to go back? I don't know. Um, to be so honest with you, I don't really know. And my, my I wanna neighborhood. Say, I want to say baking. <laughs> I, I don't know why or because that's your go to. You love to create. <laughs> You're like, I and do. even if no one eats it, you're like, I'm just going to make, I'm just going to. Oh, yeah, no, it's not about. A make a tuna I mean, casserole and throw it out the window. like pineapple upside down cake? Come on, guys. <laughs> I'm gluten free and you guys keep naming. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm having a reaction. I'm sorry. Ugh, sorry. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. No, no, no. Um, yeah. I mean, I think that I just kind of like, you know, I obsess about things inside now. You know, now I'm like, I need to clean out every single one of my closets and I need to organize my drawers. And now, you know, there's that new organizing show on Netflix. So I'm just like all the way in. Uh, you know, I'm obsessive about my schoolwork and my grades. It's, you know, I'm. Oh, what are you going to school well. for, Tracy? What are you going to school uh, for? I'm going to school. I'm getting my uh, degree in communications. Okay. And yeah, so I have a 4.0 and I need to keep the 4.0 because I am not well. Why are you going That's to school? I, I don't know. Why not? I just figured I, I wanted something to do. Yeah, I'm like, we're going to be inside for a little while. I might as well just finish up this degree real quick. Fair enough. It's because I feel like I. It, it's almost like, you know, in 
obsession. Everything is like an obsession in my life, like the strive for perfection. I want to be better. I want to do better. It's like, you know, I, I go to a therapist and then I have like a, a coach and then it's, you know, it's like there's so is, there it, is, a, that, is that a reason why you hold on to a, a shitty relationship? Because you, 100% you're just obsessive because I about have it. to make things work. And if you don't make it work, I'm going, I'm a failure. And you can't just go, I don't even want this. No. So it doesn't even matter if it gives you joy. Is that the new, what is it? Does this bring me joy? No, then throw it out. Marie, Con- Marie Kondo said, keep it. So, yeah, that's the weird part is she'll throw out everything but the uh, toxic exactly. relationship. Yep. So what I love about Tracy is that Tracy is uh, out of her fucking mind. She is. She <laughs> knows what the problem is. If you go, hey, do you yeah. know this is a problem? She goes, oh, most definitely. Most yes. definitely. Like, that's, do you know what's that? real, that's what's real crazy. Yeah. Is how self-aware she is and how fucking insane she is about not right. changing any of it. Yeah. My my therapist is like, you know, you're very um you're very high functioning. <laughs> oh jeez. Wait, high functioning. Like, oh, wow. High functioning people. High say functioning that all the time. is a term for people who have like autism or, uh, yes. or like but, but you know, alcoholism. Yes, I'm a you high wanna... functioning whatever I am. <laughs> <laughs> like, wow, you go to work every day. Look at you. Look at you. you I was you just going. I was Look just going. You combing your hair, huh? I'm like the whole thing. I do the whole thing. I comb it all, and then I shower. And they're like, "Good for you, Tracy." Tracy's like. I made a cake from scratch. <laughs> They're like, wow, look wow. at that. And we never, th- <laughs> we never <laughs> thought you'd even be able to get up in the morning because your life is such a disaster. <laughs> look at you making Here cake. <laughs> look Here at I you am. making cake and just cooking it with the tears of your fucking soul. Well, that's, well, what, that's the that's, whole thing. Yeah, that's what gives it the flavor. That's the beauty it of it a little good. bit. That's an I old was, Italian was, thing. You want to leave a little tear in every bite. <laughs> Mm-hmm. It's salty. The salty brings out the sweet. <laughs> savory. Oh, wow. This is, this savory. is fascinating. It's a fascinating case, Tracy, that we're trying oh, yeah, to sort sure. out. Because we love you. You're, you think you're, we think <laughs> the world of you. you guys so much. And we want to help you more than you seem to want to help yourself. In yeah, a weird that's way. correct. That you got, is, they yeah. got to check out the Patreon, the behind the scenes <laughs> Patreon with Tracy. Which she's but giving, I give you guys she, advice. She's giving horrible advice. <laughs> and I'm going, that's absolutely not it. None of it. No, in, in, in hindsight, we should have done this show first <laughs> and then the listener mail, then record the listener mail, because maybe we would have maybe would have adjusted. Hey, Tracy, yeah, what do you think would, about this? I never think, mind about that. Yeah. <laughs> but Tracy, it's up we're going to mute you for an entire Patreon yeah. episode, but we want you on camera. <laughs> we appreciate you trying to help Tracy, but all that information you just gave, uh, we can't she be held responsible. She, she, she did raise she her hand. That's the confusing thing about Tracy. Very she polite. was very polite. Very I organized. Want everyone to feel her, comfortable. Thank uh, you. She's an intelligent woman. Her thoughts are well put together. They're just caustic <laughs> and not helpful uh, and completely wrong. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's but, actually what my professor says about well. my papers. Yeah. They're like, but we can't not give you the grade. You did all the work. Yeah. I mean, it's you, awful. But you did communicate the terrible ideas. <laughs> Technically, I mean, you were communicated sound. well. <laughs> But if you want to check that out, we do answer. We do then. Uh, Tracy's thesis is caustic and wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but I did the whole thing. So you it's did the whole thing. Out. It's Single properly spaced. structured, properly <laughs> formatted. Single spaced and everything. But, but batshit crazy. Like her exactly. thing would have been like Jack Nicholson from The Shining, but it would have been more organized. She's like, <laughs> Tracy also got one of those things where. There's there's moments of like long sanity and then you forget and then she yeah, says yeah. something and you go oh yes. I forgot oh you're a crazy person yeah she'll give you directions yes. and you'll follow her, and then you go down a weird alley you're like what how the fuck did we end up here like why uh, is there a cliff here yeah right. and then Tracy go. goes ta da and then jumps backwards and doesn't <laughs> like, trust I mean all. I never told you I was okay. <laughs> That's true. I mean, I, I lay it out. On I the never table. told I you mean, I was OK. Just it sounds like you've had to say that a lot. I feel like I feel like Tracy says that once every two days. I scream it in my sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm OK. I never said it. Not, I, I never, never told you I was, I was OK. okay. <laughs> Why are you treating me like an adult? I should have these responsibilities. That will be the title of this episode. No, I, t- I never I told you. Oh, uh, I used to go snowboarding, right? And it was like a whole mm, bunch of dudes that, are, that, I, that I knew would go. 
And one of the oh, dudes was wow. kind of like a weird kind of dude, and he used to wear a toupee, right? Oh, so yeah. we would rent one of those big church fans, and we would all go up to to mm -hmm. to Hum Hunter Mountain or Shawnee or whatever. And he 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 fell asleep. He was in the front thing in his sleep. He was sleeping and he was dreaming. And then he all out of nowhere he he screams in his sleep. Nobody's fucking me. And we're like, whoa, <laughs> what the fuck was that? Was it me? <laughs> was I in a bus? <laughs> Nobody's I, fucking I me. <laughs> I was giving. <laughs> you were like, "Hey, are you are you okay?" He was like, mm, "This is everybody." Like, kind of fine. Why? What happened? What happened when I was sleeping? Anything? <laughs> and then, nobody, but they're always nobody's fucking me. Was I snoring? Why yeah. is everyone looking at me? <laughs> You're just trying to get some orange juice, and everyone's staying away from you at the breakfast table. <laughs> we're like, "Wow!" <laughs> always the last one to know. God damn! Oh, I wow. hear you. The Nobody's toupee is the first. Uh, it's the yeah. first thing. It's the first step to mental illness. To full mental illness. It's the first step of denial because I don't know. There has to be some form of mental illness with the toupee because. How about a how about a yellow angel hair, cotton candy head? How yeah. about that? <laughs> and a spray tan. And a spray well, tan. no, it's not the spray tan. It's actually foundation, and it's not blended well at all. And I don't <laughs> know why. Like it's, it's um, easy to I'll blend. I'll tell you foundation. why, Tracy. When you piss off the gays, that's what happens. <laughs> mm -hmm. They're they like, go, "No, we got you." No, honey. you're good. You're good. Mike go Pence. out there. Mike go Pence. out there. You're great. Well, Mike Pence, my, get Pence does his makeup. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, "Come here, Don." Before we go wow. on, yeah. You want me to do it again to you? Him and mother. Him. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh, the mother of that mirage of creeps. No, there's some mental illness there. When you put on a toupee that you don't think anyone's going to know. Like you Mark Albert's got to know, right? Four that, and a half foot tie. I mean, women like, fuck bald guys. All the t I mean, it's a thing. It's not. It, it's something, you know, it's funny because my mom said to me recently. Hello? Yeah, Hello? she was like, <laughs> not recently. Yeah, but no, it's true, though, because my mom said to me, like, actually, not recently, but like not too long ago. She's like, do you have a thing for bald guys? And I was like, why? And she's like, you've dated a lot of bald guys. I was like, have I? I don't even know if you have a head. Like, I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't think that we pay attention as much as you think we pay attention. Um, I think that guys with toupees get the toupee for them. Okay, absolutely. That, yeah, I've never seen a toupee that look well, but look good ever. Hmm. No, no, not at all. And I've never really. I mean, any kind of woman who would be like, I don't want to date him. He's bald. Mm. Like, I don't know if. Like, that's maybe like bottom of the barrel woman. I don't think it's so much that you don't pay attention. I think that you pay attention to what we pay attention to. So like we have this insecurity and we kind of give off the insecurity. And then you focus on the insecurity because we're basically telling you. Right. We ain't, we ain't shit because of this. Right. And you go, well, you must know you better than I do. And you go, well, you must not be shit. Right. Right. So, that you know, that's when you say people treat you like, you know, that people treat you how you let them. You know? I like bald guys with confidence. Yeah. Well, you like anyone with confidence. The thing is, sometimes bald people I don't, don't... know how we didn't hit it off, Trace. <laughs> yeah. I know. I mean, we're not not, not together. I got... I got <laughs> we're not not together. I walk around with big dick energy all the time. Big dick energy. You know, I mean, that is... That's all I've ever asked for. <laughs> Little big dick. The energy and then delivery after the energy. I don't got a porno dick, though. I got like a utility dick. Like a yeah. like like if you like if you needed to move a couch. Right. I could throw it in my flat I, bed and you're good to go. You know what I mean? See, I like that, though. It's like sheetrock dick. <laughs> works. It works. It's sturdy. Like it. It's sturdy. I, but it. I like that. It gets the job done. You got like Ram, uh, Ram Power Dodge Ram dick. I got a Dodge, but not a like a twenty five hundred, like an eighteen hundred yeah, with a nice okay. flat. Getting bag. really racist right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is getting political and racist. Enough, you, said. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just like yo, could you help me carry this? And I'd be like, yeah, my dick could handle I mean, that. What are you gonna say next? Ford F one fifty? Like, relax. <laughs> this is it's not. This is not a white surprise. I want to say I have like a like a Volkswagen. Like uh, the high-end Volkswagen dick, you know, it's good, what, it's reliable, kind? strong. Like a Thad or like a Jetta? The like Jetta. A Jetta, like, like a, a Jetta. Jetta. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, there's women that love Jettas, you know. I, you know, Wait, which one's the Jetta? Lincoln Hold Town on, Bef car, but before I commit <laughs> like to this, Lincoln Town Car. If you're Wait, let me look up the Jetta. 
I would like a Cadillac. Thank you so much. Jen you is a want small one of the, compact car. <laughs> Tracy wants one of those uh, stretch Hummer limos. <laughs> Ooh, that I you like see that. At the car at the car show. An expedition limo. Perfect. Tracy, w- Tracy wants, uh, wants a bullet train. Yeah. <laughs> or that. No. Like, where do they store like, the? Sometimes it's too pokey. <laughs> where do they store the truckzilla when they're not using you that for no, monster truck You don't truck want shows. nobody to fuck you and it feels like this. <laughs> it's very pokey. Ow, very, ow, ow. very pokey. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, um, you know, not to be topical on Halloween, but it's nah, like when um, <laughs> you oh, ever okay. like scoop a pumpkin. Yeah. Right. You scoop the pumpkin out and you, you, you know, you right. dig the seeds out. Right. I don't know if this is just a white girl thing, but um, you dig the seeds out. And like I've been with a guy where it felt like I was getting scooped like a pumpkin. Oh. I, I felt like every seed inside of me just being pulled out of me. It was terrible. Why? Because it, what is it with a hook? Was it like a. It was like just, something yeah, to, clean, it was to clean out the gutters yeah. and stuff. <laughs> Wait, with exactly. his hands or his dick? I felt like I was getting a... Pr- both. I just felt like I was getting a procedure done. How did he mess that? I was How like, I don't know what I've done to deserve this. Was it? It's like when you... In a just, brick oven, you gotta... When you sh- yeah, he was just very... Sh- he was a sharp guy. <laughs> no smoothness to it? <laughs> yeah, I like a little bit, you know, smooth. I like, um, you know... I just I need something a little softer than that. Something so smooth, it, but with a little girth, like an right, eggplant. Right, like a beer can. Like an eggplant. <laughs> a beer can. Or a beer God can. Damn. I mean, it depends. On- God damn, you Tracy, no wonder you, eggplant. you're unsatisfied. Yeah, one of those like world records out in like, like a- uh, Omaha, Nebraska, world's largest <laughs> eggplant type deal. <laughs> like something like that, yeah. Like a turnip. <laughs> Nothing unreasonable. Yes. Okay, now you're getting, now you're talking to me. <laughs> Nice term, maybe some well, summer squash. I think now we know <laughs> why I, why Tracy's still with her boyfriend. We can figure that mystery out. You're like <laughs> like a delicata squash. There you Very go. specifically, yeah. Like spaghetti, you shop at like Trader spaghetti Joe's. squash. No, you don't I mean spaghetti. spaghetti squash is that's now you're just birthing a child. <laughs> Oppo- <laughs> like you're you're opposite birthing a child. So wait, are we saying yes or no to that, Tracy? We can't tell with you. <laughs> okay, there's. I'm not doing any Jettas. <laughs> I like how you agreed to the Jetta and then you're like, wait no, a minute, I don't, I don't, like know, it. I don't, I don't remember which is. one it was. The fancy one. It's, no, I don't like it. Harry, are you like a GTI? Like what's going on? Are you like a hatchback? No, <laughs> I'm not a hatchback. God damn it. Something that's uh, like a lot of power, engine. a lot of. Well, I guess I'm one of those like uh, fucking Tokyo Drift type of type of automobiles. A lot of power, a lot of speed and a lot of power. Like a, a sub, right. Subaru WRX. I like guess. That. Yeah. Oh, like a rally little. car. Is it? Uh, no, that's a decent. De- no, nah, like I don't like Acura it. You're like an Acura Integra. No, now you keep going smaller I can, cars. I, I don't can, like this. I can use my 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 dick for like a side business. Like I could put construction on the side and be like, I'm gonna have an extra business. I'm gonna open another business. Oh, you're like a handyman in a in a no, truck, not a, like, like in a van. I definitely you're got your work van. Definitely got some heavy duty. Like a, I got a welding a thing to weld and a generator on the truck. You know what I mean? Like uh, mine is like uh, I, I want to say like one of those old police cars in the Dukes of Hazard. It takes like you know how they get smashed against the rocks, but they keep going. <laughs> what are those? Right, it just has a lot of power, but oh. nothing behind it. No, I get it. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna try to list every type you're of like car. You're like a BMW, like Tracy. a roadster, like a very, like a two seater. <laughs> Are you talking two seater? Tracy, what happened? Tracy's getting back at me for mentioning baking 17 times <laughs> on the show. Why are you trying to make me an old Italian lady? <laughs> No, because like, you makes bake. Semolina last cake time on last time on the oil. show, you were, you were telling us the trick to oh. fucking dudes was you would bake and then fuck a guy like that garbage man or whatever. Yeah, but you also that, cook. I mean, it's not just baking. You like chicken cutlets. Here's cups. the what thing: I do? prefer Are what I savages? prefer. Tracy. We're not a savage, goddamn! Yeah. You gotta you do a four, course, you get, a four course meal and no. fucking pound. You need cakes to make chicken scratch. cutlets and then they come. If you <laughs> fry them, if you fry a cutlet, they will come. <laughs> both literally both ways she means literally. that meant spelled All both it. ways it's just dudes walking okay. around tracy's house meowing like ad- alley cats <laughs> <laughs> and i just throw them <laughs> roast beef <laughs> that's what she does tracy will leave, like like you know the way you feed straight cats tracy will take out like a full like uh, meatball parm and leave it outside and i then, throw <laughs> meatballs outside my door and then bang whoever we're shows feeding up the pigeons. We're, we're not on a plate and you just throw the meatball out and then there's like four vetoes outside my house, and my neighbors oh, are like, "Come on!" Oh, 
How does she have to feed the Vitos? <laughs> you keep feeding them. They're going to keep showing up over here. They're going to come because once you feed a Vito, then the Marios come too. You're not just feeding the Vitos. There's, there's grease and back hair everywhere in the alley. <laughs> trying to keep it clean. Please, Story Tracy. Of my life. <laughs> oh, my God. I apologize Tracy. to my entire neighborhood. <laughs> Tracy. <laughs> Thank you, thank you for come, doing the show. I love thank you, you to for death. having me. I love you guys. Um, what do you want to plug? Listen, just follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Trixie Tuzini, T-R-I-X-I-E-T-U-Z-Z-I-N-I. Uh, I have some racy pictures up right now, and I think you're going to love them. Real right. racy. There we go. I don't know what those are. Um, you go to at Harry Turjani and all my social media and stuff. Uh, Catalyst Wrestling is on the Fight app, on YouTube. Uh, and also check out the Man School 202 YouTube page. We're show, we're posting the videos there. Check, uh, you can see all this action. And also the Man School 202 Instagram, Real Man School 202. Dope. Oh, um, and the Patreon. The Patreon, of course. Please cover the Patreon because we're going to be doing, if you love uh, hearing more of Tracy's escapades and you want to get more of her bad advice and uh, more of her craziness. Oh, absolutely they do. Listen, guys, yeah. join the Patreon uh, support the show, become a member. You get so many things with this membership that you're going to like your head is going to explode. So definitely yeah. join the Patreon. And we just did an episode of a Q and a from the Patreon's questions that we answered. And, uh, uh, I'm not going to say whether or not Tracy was helpful, uh, <laughs> but find out for I yourself. I was, I basically, uh, got a 4.0 in college. So it's not there we deal. go. That there is, we go. um, make sure you sign up for the Patreon. Doug. We want to start streaming and we need to get some equipment so that we can stream. So please sign up for the Patreon and go to, uh, uh, patreon.com slash man school 202. You can follow me Instagram, Dante Nero, the Dante Nero, just Google me or go to Dante Nero.com. And if you want to do a one-on-one -on -one consultation, hit me on Dante Nero.com and click on consult. GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolution is being podcasted. And I love y'all, man. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Sign up for the Patreon. I love y'all. Uh, we are out. Man School 202 is created by Dante Nero. Hosted by Dante Nero with Harry Turjanian and Andre D. Thompson. Produced by Harry Turjanian. Executive producers Matt Kleinschmidt, Harry Tarjanian, and Dante Nero.